What's up guys, it be your boy, The Noir King, and we are coming at you again with a very new game today. Um, this is Elden Ring. Uh, this is actually really fun. I have been playing this game for about one day now. Uh, I've defeated a couple of bosses in the starting area, and in this video, I will be attempting to retrieve the whetstone, an item that I had not neglected, but did not realize that I needed uh, as bad as I needed it until uh, I defeated a boss right before here. So at this point in the game, I've defeated two of the optional bosses. I have yet to defeat uh, the main bad boss for this area on the bridge the bridge boss is like the main story boss for this area i apologize for not knowing the names of these people um, i am still learning the game obviously as i'm playing it uh, but i want to bring you guys this footage because i know this whetstone is a very important item and uh, i've managed to get it last night so yeah let's check that out so <clears throat> this first enemy right here I totally messed up on. I should have honestly messed up. But, you know, whatever. Live and learn. Uh, one of the things that I do enjoy about Elden Ring or Dark Souls in general, Souls like games, you're supposed to mess up. And uh, it's a really good exercise in patience and perseverance. So, I'm all about both those things. So, I'm with it. Um, now, I know a lot of you know I play Assassin's Creed. Uh, I do have an Assassin's Creed video up on the channel. It's not really good. It's like one of the first. Well, I have two Assassin's Creed videos on this channel, and they're both equally decent. Um, I'd say the second one's probably better than the first one, trial and error. But uh, yeah, I tend to play open world games uh, very differently depending on the game. Um, I don't necessarily go in with the idea to use stealth. But I somehow end up using stealth the majority of the time because it's just, it's just easier. You, I mean, why fight someone when you just sneak past them, right? Um, and I don't have a stealth build, so that just makes that makes my stealthing somewhat kind of cool. But anyway, we foregoed stealth as I figured it was just going to be those three guys, right? And maybe the big guy, maybe. I was mistaken, but it's okay because it all worked out. Whew, apologies. Um, well, let's see here. So, engage. I got the patch. Yep, it's cool. We get the first one down. Now we busted out the dual ward move on them. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to dual. I like dual wielding. I hope I can find people kind of, so I can do the world people kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Yeah. All right, so I ain't gonna lie. I thought I was gonna lose this fight at this point because it was like, damn, there's a lot of people and it's just me and they kind of clapping me right now. It was cool. First event, man. This is what I'm talking about. Adapting. Leaving the situation. Adapt. Savar. Yeah. So, we managed to beat all these enemies here. Now, the way I did this is I was going off of memory, off of, uh, like, Facebook memory and, uh, YouTube memory. So I was trying to just remember where these things were versus actually knowing where these things are, so, yeah, that is the, uh, <laughs> that's the big secret there, um, but yeah, so we found it, we got all the bad guys, managed to find the loot, and now we are going to grab it, um, and there you have it, that is getting the whetstone and the, uh, storm stomp, I hope this video kind of helps you out, remember I don't do walkthroughs, it's been your boy, the Noir King.